Good morning guys, how are you guys doing? Hope you're all doing well. It's a bright morning here in Calgary. Uh, we had a very bad snowstorm or hailing on Saturday. Uh, we're lucky enough that we were on the other side of the city, but I feel bad for everyone that uh, was, uh, we. it was hailing here in our location, but in another quadrant of the city was really hit really hard. I actually had a friend that um, her son's car was actually damaged and the windshield was broken because it was parked outside. Um, I'm very happy that the weather is good today. But um, yeah, so I just want to share that with you guys. Um, yeah, it's a beautiful morning. But uh, today's video is about the products that I've been loving and product that didn't really work for me. Yeah, so I have a few items that I want to show. Well, actually, there's a lot. I have a full basket of oh, stuff here. So um, let me start with a positive one, which is products that I've been loving. Uh, and then we'll go through um, the things that didn't work for me for one, for one reason or another. I just want to start with the skincare. Um, so with this, um, I ordered this... Um, facial radiance pad from um from first aid beauty and this is very expensive guys but i think uh for me it's working good and then same uh order i got the banana bright uh ola henriksson banana bright eye cream this really is um a game changer for me um uh, my under eye i always had bad under it helps me a lot this feels like um uh, it feels so nourishing. It is, doesn't just brighten up. It actually moisturizes really good. Yeah, so I highly recommend this, guys. My SPF. So the La Roche Posay. Posay. Yeah, so I use this every day, no matter what. Works really good. It doesn't have, leave white cast. So this one is um, really good. And I'm loving that one. Using CeraVe. Well, I, I've been using this CeraVe night cream for the longest time and I love this it's a serum so this has really good ingredients um so I use this day and night actually guys I use this day and night so I this is really beautiful and then I do have the skin renewing serum um serum for night as well because this has retinol but I stopped using this for now because I I'm doing um I my husband gave me um PMD uh, personal microdermabrasion and they said when you're uh, do, using it you should not be using anything that has retinol so I stopped using this but this actually when I used it I see a difference in my skin when I wake up it's plumped and I feel like it's doing something with my wrinkles like you know so that's a, um, a plus for me and this cream eye cream I don't know I don't know there's a difference but I still use it because this is what I use at night I don't use the banana eye brightening because this is fairly expensive so if I'm not putting on makeup I don't use this one so I use this at night and I don't see any difference but I will stick keep on using it and I probably uh, I won't repurchase it I will just go back to my Olay Regenerous and this one when I first got it I was using this um, I use it in the morning but I notice with my makeup it starts to peel off this has hyaluronic acid even with the ordinary uh, hyaluronic acid I just use this at night now because I think it's the hyaluronics that's doing that but it doesn't do that with this one so I still have this but I usually just use this in the weekend when I'm not putting makeup on if you have seen my get ready with me you know that I only use mascara um, the mascara from essence and I start to venture out because I get bored of, on that so when I first got this it's the Maybelline false lashes I really love this but then I realized by two hours of my makeup and I look like I have a I look like I had a raccoon eye like I have like I already have dark under eye so I thought I love this but then I realized this is making my under eye really dark so I stopped using it but I discover this I think this is Maybelline or oh, Laurier it's the Bambi eye mascara oh my god guys I love this 
uh, this is my new favorite this, and then I use this with this uh, L'Oreal uh, primer eyelashes primer and if I really want it to look really really look like I, I have false lashes I would pack this on and then put this on and I'm good to go and it doesn't transfer underneath my eye so I'm been loving this guys this eyeshadow from elf this is like three dollars and i have two color one is the what this is called very bad and one is cream and sugar this is this is beautiful guys three dollars guys this is worth it check it out i tried this um sculpting bronzer from precision's formula and in the shade caramel i i I thought I liked this, but I think I it looks muddy on my skin tone for some reason. I decided when I saw because we don't never really have a, a drugstore that sells the full line for Revo Revolution, so I end up picking up the Revolution uh, Conceal and Define um, Foundation, and this is the shade F6. This is too light for me, and I tried to make it work, but it doesn't. So I'm not happy about this. And then for um, the conceal and define um again it's not the right color but when i purchase it there's no um i can't try it on because of the COVID and everything uh yeah so it didn't work for me for the shade and again i think it's too drying for my under eye so that doesn't work for me and um yeah so i got foundation is 17.99 and uh and uh concealer was twelve fifty, so it's not like cheap cheap so i'm bum about it i got as you guys know or if you don't know uh, i can't wear perfume because my husband is very sensitive in smell and i do as well and i get a headache when it's too strong the only thing that works for me is either the versace crystal and then the ferrogamo um I'm not exactly sure what, it, but I, I have it downstairs. So that there's only two perfume that I can wear that I won't get headache and my husband won't complain about it. But this one, I found this at Shoppers Drug Mart. BCBG Max uh, Azria. I'm not sure if this is a collaboration. And this one, this one guys, it's just smell like a light cologne. I am not good in perfume as you know, because I don't collect them. But this just, like, even if I put it, I just smell good and fresh. It's the same scent. Yeah, and I only got this for $19.99, guys. So I'm happy about that. And it stays very long in my skin. This uh, Shea Moisture Body Lotion. This one, guys, smells really good. It's And it's very nourishing. But I hate it because of the bottle. Like, I've used it a lot already, but I have to like squish it really hard. I wish they had a pump, but it's very thick. So maybe that's why they don't put a pump. But then they should have just put it in like a, a very nice squeezable bottle because this is like just, I have to dip it over like that. And it has coconut, so it's very, very thick. It's very thick, but it's not sticky. And it you, you you get like illuminating. Just the bottle is just uh, driving me nuts. That's why it's a it's a fail for me. I would use it up, but I almost want to cut it so that I can easily access the cream. But oh my god, see look at that! Like it drives me nuts. This one, cheek and cheek stars reunion tour. You guys, I have a very like conflicting uh, love affair with this um with this uh palette because i don't know if it actually looks good on me like i know these are most uh, the iconic um color for um benefit but i think i'm grown to love it when i first got it i was like oh it doesn't look good on me or it, does it shows but the more i use it the more i i'm appreciating it this highlight looks intense but when you put it in your skin it looks nice so yeah so this is in between the love like you know i hate it or love it but i have this for almost two months now and i'm loving it now so when then 
the most failed item I had, guys, is very annoying. My product eyeglass. I ordered this, uh, I think I've shown you guys, I don't even remember, around January or February. You guys, and then pandemic started. I can't even wear it because they did something to the lens. I can't stand it. It gives me headache. My prescription have changed, but it just doesn't, like, I can't. I keep on going back to my old um, Burberry eyeglasses because this is not updated lens already like my prescription has changed as i mentioned but this one just gives me bad headache and i can't stand staring at the computer or or my cell phone or even just reading i can't i was like i can use it for driving because i need my glasses for driving i'm a i'm a nearsighted i told them that i can't stand my glasses there must be something that they have done with the lens and this is not cheap guys this is prada and it's like $700. And I said, I can't stand wearing it. So we had an appointment last Sunday and uh, we went in and the guy that was uh, was um, inspecting this, clean it and then he noticed there's bubbles on the on the actual lens. And I, I can't really see it on my, like on my bare eyes, but so they ordered the lens and it's like, I've been suffering for the last how many months? It's June already. And I was like, what? Like, I just not happy about it. Like, oh, I, sorry guys for venting. And this is my last product that I'm showing you guys. But yeah, so that's it. So that's the product that I've been loving and that I have been, it's been a fail for me. I think I have more love than uh, fail products. Um, this video has been long and enough already. So yeah so that's it guys hope uh, you like this video it's something different but i want to share with you what products i've been loving and what uh didn't work for me yeah so i hope you guys enjoy this video and actually by the way guys i want to um to invite you to uh check my instagram because i post my um daily outfits there and my bag of the day so, um if you want to see my the bag that i'm wearing every, on, on a daily basis sometimes i use different bags every two days um check out my instagram i would have the link down below and i hope you guys enjoy and if you're a subscriber that came back to my channel thank you for coming back and uh, uh spending time with me and if you're new please consider subscribing and hit the like button and i'll see you guys in my next one bye